Hi guys, am I audible? Please give a response if I'm audible. Am I audible guys? Great, I'm seeing some responses coming in, which means we are live. Good morning. Great, quickly getting into what our format is going to be today. So we are going to do a live quiz parallelly to this uh, live session. So what you should be doing is uh, you got to head over to georgeprep.com slash dashboard and you will be able to see under live quizzes. Those of you who are there in the live session, the ones who are going to watch the video later will not be able to take the live quiz. Of course, those of you who are there in the live session can do this. Go to georgeprep.com slash dashboard and under live quizzes, you'll be able to see a uh, series of quizzes so click on the quiz which says paragraph jumbles without uh sorry paragraph jumbles odd man out for youtube session so i'm going to start the quiz and then come back here so you can attempt the quiz there and give your responses and your uh, names will start coming in the leaderboard here so what i'll do is we will attempt a quiz we'll at, sorry we'll attempt a question once the question time is over we'll discuss it and then we will move to the next question okay so that's going to be the format attempt once the time is over, discuss it and move to the next question. Okay. And once we have, uh, once the time is over, you will be able to see the leaderboard changing on the screen here, but you might not be able to see the leaderboard changing in your quiz page. But when we move to the next question, you'll be able to see the leaderboard changing there. But the leaderboard here on my screen will change once the time is over. So that's going to be the pattern for today. So let's quickly go start that quiz and then come back here. Okay, the quiz is live and for those of you who will not be able to take the quiz, you can see the first question on the screen here. Don't worry about the time, I'll give you some more time for this question. Just give me a minute. There's a bit of a problem with my video, so we might uh, have to go without video today.
just one minute guys i'm going to just put the screen on hold for a minute just just a minute there's some some glitch here just a minute okay perfect so we are uh, done with the first question and you can see the scores also on the leaderboard let's discuss the first question those of you joined late might get some more time for the first question but for the second question it should become normal okay let's discuss the first one So it was a means of confronting the way things were, of getting to know them in material terms. It was a means of, so which was a means of, it's not very clear what they are speaking about. The reason I chose sculpture was as a vocation, was to escape words, to communicate in a physical way. That could start our you know, small paragraph. The human beings have found it necessary to remake the body for themselves in order to understand it both as an object and as a place among other places. The origin of making physical objects go back to before the advent of Homo sapiens, earlier even than the appearance of our Neanderthal cousins. Okay, so what would start here? See, the reason I chose sculpture as vocation could be a good start. It was to escape words to communicate in a physical way. So if I want to start with that, the reason I chose sculpture as a vocation, and then it is given it was a means of confronting the way things were. So choosing sculpture as vocation was a means of confronting the way things were. So the connection would go like this. Sculpture as a vocation. Choosing sculpture as a vocation was a means of confronting the way things were of getting to know them in material terms okay the origins of making physical objects see he did speak about communicating in a physical way here right the origins of making physical objects go back to before the advent of homo sapiens earlier even than the appearance of our neanderthal cousins so this has a link with the main statement second statement this is connected to the second statement because of the physical aspect now the third one, human beings have found it necessary. Now what happens is, from discussing about himself, it suddenly shifts the focus into human beings. Okay, so that is the main difference that is coming in here. So he was discussing about himself. Now the focus is shifting on to human beings. Human beings have found it necessary to remake the body for themselves in order to understand it, both as an object and as a place among other, sorry, and as a place among other places. So I would say the order here is we can start with two. It speaks about the reason why this person chose sculpture as a vocation. It is to communicate in a physical way. It was a means of confronting. So both of them are speaking about reasons and why this person chose it, right? And in one of the reasons he spoke about communicating in a physical way and then the origins of making physical objects, which is again, taking you back to his uh, vocation. The origins of making physical objects 
go back to before the advent of homo sapiens earlier even than appearance of our neanderthal cousins so the order would be two followed by one because they both speak about reason and then four speaks about the physical way physical objects the one that is going to be left out will be three in this case so answer for this question has to be three i'm um, it's good that good number of you have got this question right please type one if you're clear with how we got the answer for this question Can we not say 4-3 are general statement, 2-1 is particular? 4-3, yes, we can say 4-3 are general, 2-1 is particular, but the problem is we have to get rid of one of the statements, right? We cannot have all the all of them with us. So, uh, okay, uh, if you want to tell, you know, you can go with general and then from there you come to particular. But how do you start? The origins of making physical objects go back to before the advent of Homo sapiens earlier even than the appearance of our Neanderthal cousins. Okay, but how do we go forward from there? If you are going to go with general followed by particular, we don't have a flow here. Okay, so 4, 3, 2, 1, it doesn't have a good flow because you are speaking about origins of physical objects and human beings have found it necessary to make and then I, the reason I chose culture as vocation, it's again introducing a new focus here. If you go with 4, 3, 2 and 1, it's introducing a new focus from 2 and 1. Okay, that's the reason a better order will be 2, 1. Because first he's speaking about why he chose. Both of them are speaking about why he chose. And it also dates back to you know, a pretty old uh, date, even before the advent of Homo sapiens. Okay, so the best order will be 2, 1 and 4 and 3 gets left out because that doesn't have as much connection with 2 and 1 as 4 has. Okay, let's move to the next question. Okay, so this is the next question and I will also activate the question in the quiz. You should be seeing the next question, second question in the quiz, you can give your response there. If you find the video to be a little blurry, what you can do is you can shift to HD mode in case you have good internet connection. That should make sure uh, everything is crystal clear. You can shift to 1080 or at least 720 to make sure the video is crystal clear. Those of you who cannot take the live quiz can give your response in the live chat as well. But if you can take the live quiz, it will be really good because you will get to know where you stand with respect to the competition. Great, so that's time up for this question. Let's end this. Great, so we have a new topper in the leaderboard. 
Awesome. So let's see how we can solve this question. What it found was complex. So I'll have to figure out what that it refers to here, right? What it found was complex. But the Google team discovered it could represent these patterns using vectors in a vector space with some 300 dimensions. Back in 2013, a handful of researchers at Google set loose a neural network on a corpus of 3 million words taken from Google News texts. Looks like something which can start. The neural net's goal, okay, so they spoke about the neural network and the neural net's goal, so this should come after two, might not be immediately, but it should definitely come after two. The neural net's goal was to look for patterns in the way words appear next to each other. This data set is called word to vec and is hugely powerful. Corpus, they spoke about a corpus here. Okay, it turned out that words with similar meanings occupied similar parts of this vector space. They did speak about a vector in the first one. What it found was complex, but the Google team discovered it could represent these patterns using vectors in a vector space with some 300 dimensions. It turned out the words with similar meanings occupied similar parts of this vector. Okay, so let me put the order here. So we can start with two because it's introducing the whole uh, project. Back in 2013, a handful of researchers at Google set loose a neural network. So let's start with two. On a corpus of three million words taken from Google News text. Now, it would be tempting to go with four after that because it says this data set is called word to vec and is hugely powerful. But why I would not go with four is rest of all of them are speaking about the purpose of this project and what it led to now why would you want to say about the power of the data set so now what it is doing is it is shifting the scope or it is shifting the focus from the project or the neural network and what it is doing to the sample that it is taking so the scope is shifting to the data set here Right? The data set is called word to vec and is hugely powerful and then there is no other mention about it. You, you cannot say it's hugely powerful and then drop it there itself. Right? There has to be some more discussion about why it is powerful or anything like that. Nothing of that sort is there. Just data set is called this and this hugely powerful is given. So that could actually be something that I would get rid of here. Okay, so let's keep that aside and keeping that aside, let's see how else we could continue with our flow of logic. So we have two here and the neural nets goal. So they set loose a neural network and what was the goal of the neural network? The neural network's goal was to look for patterns in the way. So I can go with three after this. Look for patterns in the way words appear next to each other. What it found, okay, this was its goal and what it actually found. So that should come after three. Okay, the project, what was the project's goal and what it found. So what it found was complex, but the Google team discovered it could represent these patterns using vectors in a vector space with some 300 dimensions. It turned out that words with similar meanings occupied similar parts of this vector space. So there is a strong connection between one and five as well. So two, three, one, five would be the logical order. That would put four out. So our answer for this question has to be four. Please type 2 if you're clear with why we are going with 4 as the answer for this question. Okay, those of you who joined late who are in the live session, you can go to georgeprep.com slash dashboard and under live quizzes, you can click on the live quiz which is named Paragraph Jumbles Odd Man Out for YouTube session to participate in the in the quiz so that if you do well you will be able to see your name on the leaderboard that will give you some kind of motivation great let's move to the next question this is the next question i'm going to activate it in the quiz as well
Last 30 seconds. Great. We are done with the timing here. Let's end the question. Okay, we have Pranay coming back on the top for this question. Let's see how we can discuss this question. This emotional part is distinguished from reason. So they should have spoken about an emotional part, right? Before you can come to this emotional part is distinguished from reason. On the grounds that it is found in animals and children that don't reason. Plato thinks that our psychological life is too complex to be accounted for purely in terms of reason and desire. That could be a good sentence to start or linked sentences. The real contrast then is between reason. We have seen something about reason here. But the real contrast they are telling, so I'll have to see, did they speak about any other contrast before to say the real contrast? We'll have to see that. The real contrast is between reason, articulate guardian of the interest of the whole person and the other parts which can't look beyond their own needs. There is a third part. Okay, wait a minute. Let's look at the second sentence and then come back to this. The second sentence says, Plato thinks that our psychological life is too complex to be accounted for purely in terms of reason and desire so there are two parts right it is too complex to be accounted in terms of these two there is a third part so probably this will follow statement two there is a third part called spirit or anger and involving most of what we would call the emotions okay it can conflict with the desire desire is here so are we speaking about the third part it can conflict with desire as plato argues from another case of conflict where giving in to a pathological desire leads the person to feel angry and ashamed with himself okay so see if you're angry then that is emotion right it's conflicting with the desire so the three things you have to keep in mind are one is spirit or anger involving most of what we call emotion so emotions is one reason is one desire is one these are the first two things stated emotions is the third thing that is stated okay so this seems to make sense to followed by four because he said it's too complex to be described in terms of these two so there is a third part it's called emotions it can conflict with desire emotions this it can refer to emotions can conflict with desire where giving into a pathological desire leads the person to feel angry well it's part of emotions and ashamed with himself so two four five there is a flow of logic here Okay, now let's look at 3 and 1. 1. This emotional part. See, we are still discussing about emotions in statement 5. So, this emotional part can continue after this. This emotional part is distinguished from reason on the grounds that it is found in animals and children that don't reason. Okay, that's about statement 1. So, between statement 1 and statement 2. So, if I go for statement 1, it is continuing to keep the focus on emotion and the focus on emotion started from statement 4 onwards because this spoke about the two reason and desire not sufficient for introduced emotions five is still speaking about emotions and how it can you know conflict with the desire 
and one is continuing to keep the topic with emotions, right? This emotional part is distinguished from reason. So this is still keeping emotions as the main focus. So reason, desire, you kept emotions, emotions and emotions. This emotional part is distinguished from reason on the grounds that it is focused in animal, it is found in animals and children that don't reason. But if you look at three, the real contrast then is between reason. So what three is doing is, it is shifting the focus to reason. Reason was the first thing that we discussed. Reason versus rest. Now that's a different kind of scope altogether. Right. This is reason versus rest. Third point is reason versus rest. First point is continuing to extend that whole emotional focus. Right. So the option that you already get rid of here is three because it's shifting the focus to something else while one is continuing to speak about emotion. So two, four, five, one is a good logical sequence. The answer for this question has to be option three. Please type three if you're clear with the ones who are live. Please type three if you're clear with how we got the answer as option three for this question. Okay, there, there, is, there is a doubt here. Let's see, uh, shouldn't it be one followed by five? One followed by five, since the order was reason and descent, the sentence is supposed to follow the order in which they appear. Okay, let's look at that. One followed by five. This emotional part is distinguished from reason on the grounds that it is found in animals and children that don't reason. Emotions can conflict with desire as Plato argues from another case of conflict where giving in to pathological desire leads a person to feel angry and ashamed with himself. Okay, so this is contrasting emotions with desire. This is emotion part which is used from reason. Okay, let's see where we can link them. Now, uh, one could say that a better link between 4 and 5 is established because of this whole anger part. Right, if you look at the anger part here, they did discuss about you know, this third part called spirit or anger. And then the fifth sentence is speaking about the whole uh, you know, anger part being the emotion. Okay, so I would say uh, five is a better follow up for four because it is not only continuing with emotion being the focus, it is also continuing to discuss about a person feeling angry which was mentioned there in the fourth one. So that is the reason why I would go with five following four and then finally putting one. Is that clear why we are going with five immediately following four in case we have to look at the order of sequence. Great. Let's move to the next question. Okay, before we can move to the next question, in case uh, you are new or you're liking the video, please press the like button. It helps us to reach a lot of students. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe. Uh, I feel pretty odd to ask you to like the video. You would like it if you really like it. But I would just want to remind you in case you, you did not think of it, however you are liking it, you can go ahead and click the like button. Okay, now let's move to the next question. This is the next question. I'm going to activate it in the quiz as well.
This could be a tricky one. I look forward to seeing who is getting this question right. If you are joined late, you can visit georgeprep.com slash dashboard. Under live quizzes, you'll be able to attempt this quiz. And if you answer well, you will start coming in the leaderboard. If you are there in the live session, otherwise you might not be able to attempt the quiz. Great. We have come to the end of the timing for this question. Let's end this question. We have a new topper now. Soumya is on top at 7.5. Okay, let's see how we can solve this question. Okay, those of you who might be wondering how these scores are coming 7.5, 6.5, 6.4, 8.3 and so on. Students of George Prep know how this works. But for the people who are going to watch this and who haven't taken our life quizzes. Uh, so each question has a given amount of points. So in this case, when you have two minutes for a question, you get four points. So for 30 seconds, a question which goes for 30 seconds, you get one point. So each of these questions today that we're discussing are for two minutes. So each question has got four points. The quicker you answer, the more will be your points. And anytime you get it wrong, generally it is one third negative marking. But because these are TTA questions, you don't have negative marking. Okay, but the quicker you answer, the more will be the points here. Okay, so now let's look at how to solve this question. North Africa has in turn, has in turn. So we'll have to see before that what would come. Presented a problem for those who have sought to define Africa and the black race. Neither were European. No, you cannot start with something like that. Neither were Europeans the only outsiders to discover the continent. The others were... Hey, I think these two are directly related. Neither were Europeans the only outsiders to discover. The others were Muslim Arabs. So these two are kind of linked. They were not the only outsiders. The others were Muslim Arabs who were the seven decades following the death of the Prophet Muhammad in 632 AD swept out of the Arabian Peninsula conquering the whole of coastal North Africa and in 711-711 extending their rule over Spain and Portugal. The idea of Europe as recent research on Middle Ages shows was as much an act of imagination as that of Africa. Wait a minute. So this says the idea of Europe itself is kind of an imagination. It's not like what you think. It's like an imagination. Neither were Europeans the only outsiders to discover the continent. So here you are you know, telling that it is not the way you think. It's not like Europe was a real thing and Africa was an imagination. Europe also was as much as an imagination as Africa. Neither were Europeans the only outsiders to discover the continent. Okay, so I would go with four followed by two because both are concentrating on Europe and Europeans. And two says neither were Europeans the only outsiders to discover. The others were Muslim Arabs. So I would go with four, two and three. The Muslim Arabs who in the seven decades following the death of the Prophet Muhammad in this swept out of Arabian Peninsula conquering the whole of coastal North Africa and in 711 extending their rule over Spain and Portugal. Okay. Now we have one and five. Let's see which of this is going to get kicked out. Let's look at five. North Africa which in Roman times had been an early center of Christianity became predominant. Oh, oh we have the link here. Predominantly Muslim. We did speak about Muslim Arabs. Right. We did speak about Muslim Arabs in the previous one. Three spoke about Muslim Arabs coming and settling. And five says North Africa, which in Roman times had been an earlier center of Christianity, early center of Christianity became predominantly Muslim. So I would follow up three with five. Now let's go and look at what the case with one. North Africa has in turn presented a problem for those who have sought to define Africa. Now, this is shifting the focus to North Africa. Okay, the main subject becomes North Africa here. North Africa has in turn 
presented a problem for those who have sought to define Africa under black. The main subject becomes North Africa without any linking back to what has already been discussed. Now, one would argue that, oh, here also the main subject is North Africa, but then you have a solid link here about it becoming predominantly Muslim. And we did speak about Muslims and Muslim Arabs in the third statement. Okay, so the best logical sequence, which you don't have to find in these kind of questions, but the best logical sequence is 4, 2, 3 and 5. The one that stays out is 1. So 1 is the answer for this question. Please type 4 if you're clear with how we solved the fourth question. Those of you who are there in the live session. Awesome. So we have the last question for today's quiz. Let's see how you guys are going to perform in that one. This is the next question. I'm going to activate the same in the quiz as well. Great. The time is over for this question. Let's end this question. Let's try this one. Part this is to try and make psychiatry properly respectable by highlighting its scientific credentials, its commitment to precise diagnosis and evidence based treatments, increasing its status within medicine and in society generally. In part, this is to try and make psychiatry okay. It is also to reduce, so this cannot be the first one because you should first give. A reason then only you can say it is also to do something right it is also to reduce the stigma which has always been associated with mental illness the current preference is to is for emphasizing that psychiatry is just another branch of medicine like cardiology or oncology i think these two can go well because the current preference is for emphasizing that psychiatry is just another branch of medicine like cardiology or oncology. It is also to reduce a stigma which has always been associated. So three should come because it speaks about the preference for emphasizing that psychiatry is this, 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 this. Two says it is also to reduce a stigma which has always been associated with mental illness. Okay. Next, psychiatry's increasing scientific sophistication has sharpened that 
threshold with enormous advances in consistency of diagnosis okay stressing that these are illnesses wait we did speak about illness somewhere here associated with mental illnesses here and then stressing that these are illnesses like any other illnesses so i think this can go after two it is also to reduce the stigma which has always been associated with mental illnesses stressing that these are illnesses like any other illness mental illnesses or brain diseases should reduce prejudice experienced by sufferers in the sense of responsibility and shame felt by so many patients and families so i can put five after two because they both speak about illnesses Two introduces the focus on mental illnesses and this is continuing with the mental illness point okay now what is the case with one and four let's look at one in part this is to try and make psychiatry properly respectable okay let's let's read three ones the current preference is for emphasizing that psychiatry is just another branch of medicine like cardiology or oncology in part this is to try and make psychiatry properly respectable by highlighting its scientific credentials its commitment to precise diagnosis and evidence based treatments increasing its status within medicine and in society in general so if you look at this emphasizing that psychiatry is also just another branch of medicine so don't look at it as something that is very different it's just another branch of medicine like other no fields of medicine and one says in part this is to try and make psychiatry properly respectable by highlighting its scientific credentials its commitment to precise diagnosis and evidence based treatments increasing its its status within medicine see if you look at third statement it says it's just another branch of medicine like the other branches and it says uh, first statement says in part it is to try and make psychiatry properly respectable increasing its status within medicine so with respect to the other medicines you want to increase the status of psychiatry right so one is actually building on three so i would actually put one after three i would say these two points three and one are speaking about psychiatry versus other fields or other branches how psychiatry is being treated vis-a-vis -vis other branches and how it should be treated on par or similar to other branches that is a focus in third and one and then it also it is also to reduce so that changes the focus a little it also it is also to reduce a stigma which has always been associated with mental illness so three and one are psychiatry vis-a-vis -vis the other branches of medicine and two and five are related to how mental illness is looked at so i think four would go out in that case let's look at four psychiatry is increasing scientific sophistication has sharpened that threshold with which threshold are we speaking about sharpened that threshold so which threshold did we speak about any threshold earlier psychiatry is increasing scientific sophistication has sharpened that threshold with emotion sorry in enormous advances in consistency of diagnosis so i would say four goes out because first of all we don't know what threshold are we speaking about with enormous advances in consistency of diagnosis and it doesn't fit into either psychiatry versus other fields you know scope or the mental illness scope so the best answer for this question would be option four type four if you are clear with how we got the answer for this question great i think not many people answered this question probably you required a bit more time to answer this question but it's good to see good number of you actually scoring well in whatever question you have already attempted so congrats to somya pranay kiran vani bhargav kabir sogand triveni sibashis and shashwat okay so with that we have come to the end of our short burst of verbal ability for this morning so tomorrow i'll catch up with you guys again in another session at eight o'clock see you guys have a great day and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and leave some comments in the comment section in case you want to convey something see you guys